Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. the touchdown it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away taken from about the 12 and he will make it to the 20 yard line and no further And the Bills now with a first and 10 at the 20. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you've got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now Allen. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Well, they told us that he was just going to be a bear to defend. And usually tight ends are, Charles, but he's no exception to that rule. His second catch of the opening possession and it gets him a first down. Yeah, and they certainly saw something on his earlier reception. He went back and reported what he found. And one of the things about him, he's like a wide receiver to me, Brandon. He has a great sense of space and understanding where defenders are. Well, we talk all the time, Charles, that it kind of gets cliche about the hands that he has. But really, it's the truth. They're, they're, for a tight end, some of the best hands in the game. On first down, Allen. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success.
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Allen. Pass delivered successfully to Knox on the out route. Down inside the 10. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. A big play that time on the catch and run. 34 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Allen taking it himself, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Josh Allen. Scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Bills respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. The Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. To throw again on second down. Lance, the first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Off of play action, here's Lance. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. On the move past the 40. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. 34 yards. The offense has to love that because that was just a dump down, and then he turned something out of seemingly nothing. And the best quarterbacks understand that dumping it down is often a good play, a better play than even what was drawn up. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. In motion, the tight end. Here's Lance to throw it. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That puts him in excellent position first and goal after a gain of 19. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance on the move to his left. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. It's a six-yard touchdown pass, and the Niners have taken the lead. Now gold for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. the touchdown it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away pulls it in at the 13 and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 come to the line to start their next drive. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Allen now looks to throw. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 36 yards on the play. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a the game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. with a tight end and a short gain down to about the 33. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. On play action, Allen. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Throwing his Allen on third. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So on fourth down, out is Tyler Bass in the Buffalo field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. He will return this from deep in the end zone. He's at the 50, the 30, 10, 5, touchdown, 49ers. Officially, that goes down as a kick return of 107 yards. What a run. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold to add the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10.
So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. A fairly short kick from the 14. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Throwing now is Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Allen. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Samson Abuka in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back to return it, Christian McCaffrey. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and 10. From midfield, here's Lance. That's Samuel, caught left side. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Here we go. Here we go. McCaffrey running up the middle. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The decision to keep it turns out to be a good one. 11 yards in the first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Lance going to try and throw on third down here. That's complete out left to Ayuk. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On the set. And they'll go for it, Lance. Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Bills are going to get the football back. 
And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, that, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Allen. And the Niners get there and bring him down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. A fairly short kick from the 14, and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come back, continue to throw the ball effectively. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Allen going to throw. Going deep for Diggs. And it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. Now a give, right side McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and 10 here as we roll along in quarter number three from Santa Clara. Now a play fake, Lance. That's caught downfield by Kittle. And all 
the way inside the 15 before they drop it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's got a man, it's his fullback. Touchdown! Kyle Juszczyk, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Niners take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. I know they're not asking me, but I'll give you my opinion anyway. I think it's time to erase that play from the call sheet. I guess they figure with the big lead, they can experiment a little bit. But all in all, just go ahead and put that play on ice. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Allen's throw going to be caught by McKenzie. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Here's Allen to throw it. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Allen now on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Allen to throw once more. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. And the Niners are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Lance in the 49ers now, first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Lance. Throws the out loud and completes it to Samuel. He's got room at the 30. And cross over out of bounds right at the 25. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Ready, ready. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. 
Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. Well, a clear running situation. Trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a touchdown 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, a seven-yard touchdown grab. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch, this too shall pass, this too shall pass. And if I, we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. To throw, it's Allen. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy the film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation point, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A handoff. McCaffrey running right. And he's got Rome. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. On first down, Lance. This is caught. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Boy, he has been fun to...